Hey everybody, welcome back to 2000 Hours of Banjo, and today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. All right, so in my last video, I talked about my finger being injured. Today, I'm going to play, I'm going to practice. It has been two weeks since I've had my banjo in my hands. I haven't practiced at all since then. I haven't been looking at tablature. I've been doing absolutely nothing with banjo at all for those two weeks. And today I'm gonna to see how much that has impacted, I don't know, let's say the memory of the songs or the ability to play the songs or my timing or just general skill. Now I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot or playing pretty fast at all. I'm gonna play slow just because I wanna make sure, I'm gonna test my finger out a little bit. I don't wanna jump right into it and and you know potentially injure my finger again but i think i'm about ready my hand is all nice and warmed up so let me go ahead and get the banjo and get tuned up And really this is just to kind of demonstrate what the effects of taking time off actually looks like. And it's probably going to be pretty bad, but I'll tell you that you bounce back pretty quick. Um, the last time I did this, it was for three months. This time it's only two weeks. So it may not be that bad, but I'm still expecting there to be a bit of dust, especially at these earlier stages of learning how to play an instrument. Like you really need, or I've found that I really need to stay on top of it in order to stay proficient. And if I take time off, that it does really affect, like I go cold really, really quick. That's pretty good. talking about this finger it's the middle finger on my picking hand it was like the uh, the last joint that was that was injured it is actually still a little bit tender um, and I just mean a little bit uh, but since I don't think I injured this playing banjo because I think I injured this working on my motorcycle I think I might be okay so I'm gonna ease into it um, I'll do a demo right now it's just completely cold after two weeks see how I'm doing uh, and then I may continue practice after I end recording but not more than a half an hour so I'll play or practice for a half an hour and then we'll see what tomorrow is if my finger stiff or achy tomorrow then it needs more time if it's fine tomorrow I'll do another half an hour and if that continues to be okay then I'll after about a week or so I'll up it to 45 minutes to an hour and then move on from there. All right. Oh, it's so good to have the banjo back in my hands. It really is weird. You just, you just end up missing the instrument. I just miss the instrument so much. Thank you. 
right, so that was boiling cabbage down. It feels pretty good. It's not perfect, it's not great, but oh my gosh, it feels so good to be able to play again. The finger is feeling okay. Um, it's not, no shooting pain with the picking while I'm picking, which it was doing the last time I played. Like, I just had to stop. I, I was just warming up and immediately, nope, nope, stop, because it, it was shooting pain down the back of the finger and down the front but it feels fine. So pretty rusty on that one, that's Cripple Creek. But again, still feels good. For how bad I'm playing it right now, it's still, it, it literally is still just music to my ears. I really just love, it sounds great. <laughs> I don't know, it's like hearing a loved one's voice after not hearing it for a while. Make that a loved one with like a, a cough or a cold so that the voice is a bit nasally, but still, good to hear. So that was a bit of a mess. That was, will, will the circle be unbroken? And I think I added a, a couple of measures in there that didn't need to be in there. My 2-3 pull-off is all over the place, my fretting. It's kind of interesting. My hands do feel a little bit weird on the banjo. They don't feel like at home uh, where they're supposed to be, so it feels a bit awkward. I'm sure if I, you know, after half an hour of warming up, it'd feel more natural.
while it's all falling apart. my hands my my right hand is getting quite a bit tense it's just like again it's that awkward feeling where I just don't feel like I'm at home with the banjo because it's just been too long uh, some of those parts I'm impressed that I remembered and pulled off and other parts obviously I'm not cleaning too well Not bad. That has some really good, strong pull-offs on that. So not everything is gone. Some of it's some of it's still there. I forgot my way a little bit on Man of Constant Sorrow. I'll have to knock the dust off of that one. Um, I'm almost afraid to go further with uh, Wayfaring Stranger. can't believe I still remember it. It's, I know it's just been two weeks, but it's kind of crazy. Now that particular song, uh, Wayfaring St uh, Sorrow, if you can tell by just the look in my face, I was trying to remember the song. With the other songs like Boil Them Cabbage Down and Cripple Creek, 
I'm not remembering the song. I'm just playing. It's just, it's just like I'm, you know, hit pressing go and it, I'm just going. But with Wayfaring Stranger and even with Man of Consta Sorrow, I'm sitting there and I'm struggling. It's like, okay, okay, what's coming next? What's coming next? But I'm sure in a week that'll all come back. It'll be fine. I'm not going to go ahead and jump into um, Eastbound and Down or uh, I'm not going to change the tuning and do um, uh, Gentle on My Mind because I don't want to just have you watching me retune my, my banjo. Hopefully you get the gist of it. So that is completely cold after two weeks, not playing at all. And, and kind of, this is about what I would expect. It's very, I'm, I feel very rusty. I feel kind of not at ease with the instrument, but I bet in a week or two weeks that I'll all just mellow out and this will be super good. So stay tuned to see what I'll be like in another week or two or so uh, to hopefully see just that. If the finger holds out. Again, I'm really happy right now. The finger feels good. Um, there's, there's no pain. There's no sharp pain, certainly, going through. We'll find out tomorrow. Uh, I'll give you an update. If it turns out that I need to give more rest, uh, I will give you an update on that. If it turns out it's fine and I don't need to be more rest, then we'll just continue on with the videos as we've been doing it. All right, well, thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you next time. I've got just a little bit more practice to do for today, and then I'm going to call it quits. All right, thanks for tuning in. Bye.